thanks to everyone that has watched and commented on my pavement parking videos with the proposed bands and all of you that have sent me photographs to look at and comment on, which I'm going to do in this video. So welcome back, I'm the Black Belt Barrister helping you to understand law and this is the third video in what is turning into a mini-series on pavement parking. So let's start with some definitions. The term pavement is defined as a footway in legislation and it's more commonly referred to as the pavement and it's used in documents as meaning part of the highway and which shares a border with the carriageway, which is a road, on which there is a public right of way on foot. And this is distinct from a footpath that does not border a road. And don't worry if you're confused yet, these terms are used throughout legislation for various different things. So from 1974, parking on pavements has been prohibited with certain exemptions in Greater London by the Greater London Council General Powers Act of 1974. The exemptions you will have seen in the photographs that I've seen that tells you that you can park either partially or wholly on the pavement. A national prohibition has been enacted in Scotland in November 2019, but those plans have been pushed back to around 2023 or so I read, to much anger by many of various communities. So as I said previously, the government is due to respond to a consultation to decide what measures to take and how far to take them. As to the current laws on parking, there are various bits of legislation that deal with this. The Traffic Management Act of 2004 sets out a network of management duties on local authorities to manage their own road networks to reduce congestion and disruption throughout their local authority. In turn, it sets out and specifies specific powers for parking enforcement by the local authority as against the police, although the police, of course, have their own powers. Local authorities also have powers under part one of the Road Traffic Regulation Act Act of 1984 to set restrictions and exemptions with relating to parking in specific areas. Most of these traffic measures you will see created with yellow line parking restrictions, no entry turns, no left turns, no right turns, no U-turns and these kind of things. So let's move on to parking. So if you recall the pavement forms part of the highway and the broad approach of the law to tackle pavement parking as it currently stands as against an outright ban is twofold. First of all, section 137 of the Highways Act of 1980, as it stands amended, is for willfully obstructing the free passage along the highway, which, as I said, includes the pavement. Secondly, Regulation 103 of the Road Vehicles Construction and Use Regulations of 1986 for causing or permitting a motor vehicle or trailer to stand on a road so as to cause unnecessary obstruction of the road. Now whilst these regulations exist, they exist under criminal law for proceedings to be brought by the police under criminal law for these situations for parking on the pavement if someone is parking in such a way that they are causing obstruction and it is deemed to be avoidable. And as it stands, local authorities are currently unable to enforce these regulations against obstruction using their own civil parking enforcement powers. Hence the discussion on a nationwide ban so that local authorities can and most certainly will enforce pavement parking bans if these measures go through. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some examples. Looking at two contrasting examples that have been sent to me, this vehicle was said to be parked illegally and given a ticket, whereas this vehicle was deemed to be parked legally. However, given the very narrow measurement between the car and this lamppost here, that leaves me a little bit surprised. Looking at this photograph here, where there are several vehicles, including an ice cream van, parked at what appears to be the entrance to a school, given away by the school zone zigzag lines on the road. This is specifically dealt with in the Highway Code Rule 243 that says do not stop or park near a school entrance. And I suggest that this is relatively unambiguous. And indeed, if that wasn't clear enough, Rule 145 of the Highway Code, which is backed up by legislation, as I've said, which states that you must not drive on or over a pavement, footpath or bridleway, except to gain lawful access to a property or in the case of emergency. And this is from the Highways Act of 1835, Section 32, and the Road Traffic Act 1988, Section 34. Two examples of vans blocking the highway, such as this one here, where it is entirely impossible for anybody to walk past this area without going into the main road, which I suggest is dangerous. Another example is this one here, which again is quite clearly a pavement, and again is simply impossible to walk past, especially if you have a pushchair, mobility scooter, or wheelchair. And again, I suggest this is causing obstruction to the highway and would likely amount to an offence. On the other side of the coin, other examples have been sent to me, such as this one here, because if the pavement ban does come in and everybody is totally forbidden from parking on the pavement, 
then each of these cars may then be tempted to park on the road, in which case it would be virtually impossible to drive down the road. Query then, would these cars be causing an obstruction to the highway merely by parking there if it's unavoidable, in other words, park elsewhere? But what is going to happen when all of these cars suddenly have to find somewhere else to park and simply cannot park here, should not park here, cannot park on the pavement, and probably are going to struggle to find somewhere else to park. Another couple of examples, almost identical, where cars are parked all the way up the street on the pavement, but if they were to park fully on the road, I suggest that this is going to be virtually impossible for any car to pass through this area. And as such, and again, these cars would then be causing an obstruction and would, strictly speaking, have to park elsewhere. But where are they going to park? Another more common example is probably this one here, where the road is probably wide enough for the vehicle to park on the road and simply doesn't do so to avoid it getting scratched but I suggest that even here there are offences being committed by this vehicle parking on the pavement even partially unless it comes within one of those exemptions in London which I'm told that it doesn't but again and as with each of these examples it is the responsibility of the police to enforce these laws for prohibiting driving on or over the pavement or obstruction of the pavement which remember forms part of the highway. Local authorities don't yet have the option to enforce these rules countrywide unless they are on particular roads such as with signs and traffic wardens and so on. So the long and short of it is these laws do exist, these offences exist, but the law is currently poorly enforced because the police simply don't enforce them as much as they perhaps should. So why does it actually matter so much that drivers are parking on the pavement, even partially or fully on the pavement? Well, vulnerable pedestrians and other road users such as children, wheelchair users, pushchair users, those with hearing impairments or or particularly those with visual impairments, finding cars that are parked on the pavements is going to be difficult, intimidating, if not impossible. Taking those vans as an example, they will have absolutely no option to continue walking safely on a footpath and will have no option but to walk out into the road if they want to get past that area, which you can imagine either someone in a wheelchair, a child, or someone with visual impairments trying to go around these vehicles into the road is simply unreasonably dangerous. So once again, please do send me your examples of these photographs. It will help to spread this as a discussion around the country because this ultimately is going to affect everybody, whether these restrictions come in or not, but they will continue to get worse with increased numbers of cars being on the road and parking on the pavements. And quite simply, I think there's going to be no option but to do something about it one way or another. So remember to like this video if you like this content. Remember to subscribe and thanks for watching.